Okay, so this is kind of a troubleshooting video uh, for a client that was couldn't get his audio to work. Um, so I just want to show you, when you download your set file, you're going to see a folder that looks like this. Basically, after you unzip it, uh, it'll say something different. But when you click on that folder, you're going to see some folders inside here. Uh, samples, Ableton Project Info, and then and then this and that's you want to keep this everything in this folder and you want to always keep everything in that folder that's in here because this is just your project file but this is your samples um, and all that kind of stuff you have your import and your processed and uh, when you click on it then everything should open right up so I'm going to click on that open up Ableton turn that off it takes a second I'm running this from my USB drive, so everything's kind of a little bit slow. So there you go. So now, in uh, my client's case, um, his Ableton session actually doesn't look like this. These are all grayed out. So they kind of look more like this, and uh, if you get the session, it looks like that. That means you're, you're means you're missing audio files. So here, let me kind of show you what that would look like. So if I take this session file and and move it, so say you open this up, and say you drag that to it, like say your desktop, and uh, and then I try to open that up from my desktop. Don't save. It's going to open it up, but what you're going to do is you're going to see there's no audio. So if I click on there, there's no audio in any of these things. And right down here, there's a little error message that says, uh, media files are missing. Please click here to relocate. So what you need to do is just put that back in the folder. If you, for some reason you deleted this after you took this out, then just unzip, um, then delete everything you had, just unzip it again and um, open this folder, keep everything in this folder, and then open that folder. Um, how you find missing, fo missing files, just in case, I'm just going to show you. So you do is you click on this, then over here basically it gives you a search folder. So if I uh, clicked on start search, it's not going to find it. Um, it first it's going to ask me where to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it I know where the files are at. So I'm going to say look in this drive. And then I'm going to say open. And now it's going to search in that folder. And I'm going to click go. So now it's repopulating all those songs. But if you um, got a session and you, and you move that, don't, don't try to relocate the files. Just um, put this file back inside this folder with all the samples and stuff. Um, and if you don't have this stuff anymore, just re-unzip the, um, the unzip file, click on that, and then open it from there. So if you're going to move, move, move your Ableton session to a different drive, make sure you move this whole folder. Don't ever take any of this stuff out of this folder. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay.